Hello, my name's Jesse, and I'm one of the woodwind teachers for Thames. Welcome to episode three of our series of beginner recorder lessons. In our last video, we performed our very first piece, Glory B, and that used the note B on our recorder. In today's video, we're going to learn our second piece, which is called Thinking. But to do that, we need to learn about different note lengths and learn our second note on the recorder. To get started and to warm up, I'd like you to repeat the rhythm in this red box after me. If you watched episodes one and two, then hopefully this rhythm will look and sound quite familiar. Here we go. Do, 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 do. Great. You'll remember from the last video that because each one of those notes is coloured in black, that they're each worth one count or one beat. Let's take a look at this blue box. You'll see that the third note looks different to what we've seen before. I'd like you to repeat this rhythm after me and then see if you can work out how that third note is different. Ready? I'll go first. Here we go. Do, do, da. Let's try that one more time. Here we go. Me first. Do, do, da. So the white note is longer than the black notes. The da lasted for two counts. So those white notes last for two beats. Now let's take a look at this green box. I'm sure you can work out what this rhythm sounds like. So I'll go first and then I'd like you to repeat. Ready? Here we go. Da, da. Great. Because each of those notes are white, they're both worth two counts. Let's try that one more time, making sure that both of those notes last for two counts in your head. I'll go first, here we go. Ready? Da, da. Brilliant. Finally, let's take a look at this pink box. This note looks even more unusual because it doesn't have a tail. I'm going to say the rhythm of this bar and I want you to repeat and see if you can work out just how long that note is. Da. Fantastic, well done. So hopefully you will have noticed that that note was very long and it lasted for four counts. Let's try that one more time. I'll go first. I'm counting to four in my head as I, as I say this note to make sure I'm getting it exactly right. So I'd like you to repeat after me, ready? Da. Brilliant, well done. What I'd like to try now is saying all of those rhythms one after the other. So we're gonna go red, blue, green, pink. And I'd like you to do it with me. So I'll count as in four. Ready? Here we go. One, two, three, four. Do, 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 da, 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 da. Brilliant. Well done. So we're going to use all those different note lengths in our new piece. But first, we need to learn our second note on the recorder. Let's look again at the stave that we saw in episode one. First, let's count how many lines that we can see, starting from the bottom. There's one, two, three, four, five. There are five lines. And the note B that we learned in episode one lives on that third line. Next, let's see how many spaces there are between the lines. Again, starting from the bottom. There's one, two, three, four. And our next note, lives in one of these spaces. It lives in one, two, the second space. And this note is the note A. So to play the note A, I'd like you to get your recorder in the ready position. Remember, your right hand goes at the very bottom of your recorder and your left hand thumb covers that hole at the back. Remember, because I'm facing the camera, it looks like I'm using the opposite hand to you. So check with the diagrams on screen to make sure you're using the right hand. Now you'll remember for the note B, we had to put our index finger on that first hole like this. To play the note A, I'd like you to take your next finger and add it onto the second hole. Remember, check against the diagram next to me for help. The red circles represent the holes that I want you to cover with your fingers. So you should now have two fingers covering the first two holes of the recorder and your thumb on the back. And remember, we want to make sure that those fingers are covering nice and firmly 
so the air doesn't escape. I'm going to play you the note A, and then I'd like you to play it back to me. Great. Remember, if your A sounds a little bit squeaky, it could be either that your fingers are not quite covering the holes, like I just said, or that you're not blowing softly enough. Remember to imagine the flame of that candle moving but not going out. Let's try that one more time. Here we go. I'll go first. Lovely. Next, we're going to use our recorder and the note A to play each one of those rhythms that we saw at the beginning of the lesson. Remember, if you don't have a recorder with you at home, get your imaginary recorder and hold it in the ready position with two fingers down and I'd like you to say the letter A for each one of those notes. So let's start with that red box. So recorder in the ready position, two fingers on for A. I'll play the red box and then I'd like you to play it back to me. Ready? Here we go. Really good, well done. Now the blue box. Remember that third note, the da, is gonna last for two counts. I'll play it for you first, so listen carefully and then play it back to me. Excellent. Now the green box, remember this is two, da. Lovely, two nice long A's there. And finally, that pink box, remember this one lasts for four counts, so you might want to make sure you've taken a nice deep breath before you start. I'll play it first and then you play it back to me, here we go. Brilliant. So here's the music for our next piece, thinking. If you look closely, you'll see that it contains each of those different note lengths that we were just practicing. It has those black one beat notes, the do's. It also has those white two beat notes, the da's. And it also has those white notes that don't have tails that last for four beats, the da notes. So let's look at the very beginning and those first two bars. What I'd like you to do is see if you can work out using do and da what those first two bars would sound like. If you need to pause the video, do so now and then press play and you can check with my answer. So, those first two bars sound like this. Let's try it together after four. Ready? One, two, three, four. Do, 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 da. Did you get that right? Now, if you look at the next two bars, you'll hopefully notice that it's exactly the same. Fantastic. So let's try that two times in a row then, those first four bars. Let's try it together. Ready? One, two, ready, go. Do, do. Do, 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 da, do, 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 da. Fantastic. I think we should try that on our recorder. So get your recorder into the ready position. Remember, right hand at the bottom, left hand on top. And as you can see, because all of these notes are in that second space, these are all the note A. So make sure you've got two fingers covering both of the first two holes. I'm going to play for you now the first four bars of thinking using the note A. I'm just going to check that my first two fingers and my thumb are covering those holes completely. I'm also going to make sure I use soft, gentle blowing, imagining that candle flame is moving but not going out. I'd like you to listen and then play it back to me once I'm done. Here we go. Ready? After four. One, two, three, four. Fantastic, well done. It can be a good idea when you're practicing this to imagine the words do and da in your head to help you get the notes the right way round. Now, let's take a look at the next three bars. And first, what I'd like you to do is see if you can work out using do's and da's how we would say the rhythm of the next three bars. So pause the video and see if you can work it out and then press play when you're ready. Okay, so together we're gonna say the rhythm of the next three bars. Here we go, after four, ready? One, two, three, four. Do, do, 
ドゥドゥダーダーダー Brilliant. Well done. Did you get that right? Now let's try that on our recorder, those three bars together. One, two, three, four. Oh, phew, you need a big breath for that one, don't you? Right, so now I'd like to join all of that together. So from the beginning to where we just got to, all those seven bars. Okay, let's play it together after four. You ready? One, two, three, four. Brilliant. Wow, well done. Now, very quickly, if you look at the rest of the piece, hopefully you'll notice that it's exactly the same as what we've just played. So after that bar of four silent rests, we just repeat everything that we just played to the end of the piece. So I think we're now ready to perform all of thinking together with the backing track. So before we come in, the backing track starts with some very gentle piano sounds so listen carefully to that to help you get in the mood before you come in. And remember, throughout this piece, we're gonna use really soft, gentle blowing so we don't make any squeaks. Here we go, from the beginning. Here we go, after four. One, two, three, four. Well done. That's our second piece on the recorder. Fantastic. I think we should play that one more time from the beginning. And remember, if you don't have a recorder with you and you're using an imaginary recorder, I'd like you to sing along saying the note A for each one of those notes. Okay, let's try that one more time from the beginning. Here we go. One, two, ready, go. Well done. So in today's video, we learned quite a lot. We learned about two beat notes and four beat notes, and we learned the note A. And then we used all of that to perform our second piece, Thinking. As always, feel free to go back and watch as many parts of this video again to help you with your practice. And then, when you're feeling ready, join me in the next video when we're going to start learning our next piece, which uses both the note A and the note B.